In this final part of episode four, we round up our first race meeting at Castle Coombe. For now, I think I'll probably let you enjoy Sam's various diplomatic-like waves to the crowd. Probably need to get some flags for the front of the car for the next race season. Anyway, here we go. This of course is Sam on his cool down lap right after the race. He does make some funny noises, but we'll review those at the end. As Sam pulled off the track, he was beckoned to one side. The marshals wanted a word. That little cutscene there, yeah, that took me far too long to do for it to be worthwhile. Anyway, basically the rules state that the car has to maintain its original silhouette. And because Sam had changed his rear bumper, he got a bit of a telling off. You see, if we put back in time before this Honda was a race car, 2017 I think, you can see that there's a small lip spoiler at the bottom and the bumper itself is actually quite, quite wide. It's got a nice bum. However, because it's a race car, Sam had cut some holes in it and also shortened it using a saw, as we can see in this next picture. Looks good and works well on the track. However, not quite applying with the rules. Those of you that follow us on Instagram will know, however, that Sam's already sorted this before I've even finished doing the video. Oh, and got it painted. So we're now compliant. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Anyway, back to the pits. Just here waiting to tell Sam, I'm sure he knows by now, that he got 10th. I'm sure he'd be happy with that for the first race. And the shiniest head award goes to bleep. In 10th? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm happy with that. Pretty sure that was it. Spot on, mate. Spot on. Well done, bud. Jeez. Enjoy that? Yeah. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no drink. One twenty point zero four five. That's all right. Very nearly under. Yeah. So not quite. We're very spot on. Um, Did I come in my class? As far as I can see, yes. Yeah. Because Mr. Ferguson was below you. Oh, yeah. you. 
If you can't tell, it slowly began to dawn on us that although Sam had finished 10th, which was an achievement in itself, we might have won our class. So the best thing to do was to, you know, talk about it some more, speculate a load, and then actually go and check the times back at the K. Thomas Centre. I was saying to Kyle, this is, um, he's faster than winning Frank. Yeah. This is where you have enough time to catch him. Because like, I think you're about five seconds away from him. Uh, I won my class. Yeah, on the class. Coat, yeah? Hey, hey, hey. Good stuff. So we had. We'd won the class. But what happened next, none of us expected on our first race outing. An actual trophy. And the winner of the first play to Sam Tompkins. Woo! Yay! I don't think there's really much more left to say other than, yes, we did it! Anyway, my wife will have definitely heard me doing that from where I'm recording this, so I'll leave you guys with some of these pictures and then onto a compilation of noises that Sam and I made once we'd realized we'd won.